Welcome back everyone to another episode of my Let's Play series, Hasche Stache here, and today we are gonna do some redstone stuff again. We will connect these four tree compactor push thingies with a piston tape so all the locks get pushed into one place, which is gonna be somewhere there. And if you want a tutorial on how to build these things, um, you can click the link in the bottom right corner. Mm, there are a lot of designs for this, so other people made it quite different than me. Um, they all use the same concept of pushing up sand, though. Well, some have a lot of pistons here and push the whole tree away, but those designs can only grow oak trees because of the space requirements for other trees. And they also eat up a lot of bone meal. And that was the main purpose for my design. So my design grows any tree in a reasonable amount of time. You don't have to bone meal them. They Most of them grow on the first try. And... Yeah, what else about my design? Um, most designs are, so most sand push designs are based on a timer. Mine uh, is based on a counter, which is sort of neat because if you leave the chunks or the thing gets partially unloaded by you leaving the loaded chunks, um, this will not break. Well, it can break rarely, but in 99.999% of the cases it will fix itself because the next time you get back in here there's gonna be a block there on the dirt and it will make the machine just start from the beginning and because it's counter based it just does the same thing 22 times and once it has done that it's completely resetted no matter what the state was before so yeah, this is mainly designed as an AFK tree farm. So you plant Zeppelin there and then you go mine and when you come back they all push back, nothing you have to do. Um, my design also doesn't use any pistons in the circuitry. It's all based on repeaters. Which is kind of neat. Because it's only possible because of the lock repeater stuff in 1.4. So yeah, we are gonna do some smart piston stuff here to push all the locks into one place. So this will always be powered and as soon as a lock gets pushed up here, piston pushes it away. So we will just dig a hole here and we'll go for the max push range which is 12 blocks but I'm too lazy to count that so I'm just gonna use some dirt and do this another smart piston here. Gonna do this with the torch because we cannot do it with the repeater. It's also easy on the resources. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just use cobble because it doesn't matter and I have lots of cobble. I plan to never see this once I'm done. Oh no, it pushes the locks into that direction. 12 blocks. 1, 2. Well, actually, we're not gonna make that one here. 12 blocks. Because we'll make it connect to this one. So. Thank you. 
In the end I won't use cobble, but I just want to get this working fast. So once I make it beautiful, it will not be cobble. And do this. Go block back here to put our piston against. No. no. Like this. And put a lever here. Peter there. And the dust here. Then um, see you in a bit. So here we are. Just extend these so I know where I need to push the stuff away. And these are intersections where two streams of logs meet. They are sort of harder to do. So put a lever here. This one here. We can't use the torch from below because we want to push them below. Yeah, we want to push them below. We want to push them to the bottom. Um, yeah. So we will need a piston. Exactly where this block was. Like this. And then we do need a piston. Mm. I'm not really, really sure yet. We're gonna do it like this. Test it out if it works. It works. So we want to push to this side. We can't push here. Because there's redstone on top of this. Oh no. <laughs> we can't push here because there's redstone on top of this thing, which I just destroyed. And we need to have it here. And then we need another repeater here. Because we can take the power from this block. Because the thing is going to cut the wire. And also we need a delay. I'm not sure how high it has to be. We get some dirt. Oh, there's some space there. Mm. I need more space here. This is enough of a delay. This piston pushes away the blocks that arrive. Well, they couldn't now because there are more than 12 blocks into that direction. But that works. So, yeah, we're gonna do the same thing from the other side. But first, I'll go sleep and I'll probably do that off camera because it's the same thing, just mirrored. Yeah, I've mirrored the design on this side. Um, let's just get rid of this dirt. So it's exactly the same thing. Mm. 
and pushes them towards here and here they connect and I already built this but yeah I recorded it with my microphone off so I'm just gonna explain it to you um it's actually really hard getting these two streams together because you cannot push them to the sides possibly because if you do you're gonna destroy redstone which you need to power the thing and on the other side here has to be a piston so I can't power with the torch below because it would destroy the redstone because the redstone has to be here because there's a piston here it can't be here and here because there's gonna be blocks um, so the only viable choices were pushing the stream up or down and I chose up because down actually involves a bit more redstone but is possible too um, I have a sticky piston with a glass on top here and that is because otherwise this piston would be diagonally powered by this and it would act as a block as a butt switch and would not retract yeah at least not immediately it would retract yeah how to put this so if this is a butt switch this doesn't work out quite as well as it does, in, does now so I've put a glass block here and a sticky piston um, and the glass block is it's actually a glass block because another block would power this redstone when the piston goes up and then it just never retracts so this piston needs to be one lower because of the butt switch thingy and yeah then I can push them to the side like I want up here this is just another smart piston um, yeah, I don't know if that part was on the tape or if I recorded it with my microphone up. A smart piston is just a piston that's smart and acts like, hey, there's a block in front of me, let's push that. Then retracts. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the stream goes here goes into this one, this pushes it to the side I actually don't really need to do this one because I could make the piston wall to the side but I want this one just for looks and then it's the stream goes here and the last piston here is the smart piston so once the stream arrives here all the pistons are gonna push it down And now we will make a piston wall somewhere lower. I'm not sure where yet, but I need to sleep first. So I want it at this side. Just get a few more blocks down here so I don't fall off. And I want the piston wall to be exactly this high. Oh. No? Here. Um, I could make it one higher because you can reach these blocks one higher but um, yeah you basically have to stand directly below them it's not what I could would call um, it's not what I would call relaxing mining of lock blocks it's out and everywhere here hmm yeah 
so I'm gonna have pistons all the way here. Pistons here. So we'll have the pistons like this. And then we need to make one of them at the bottom a smart piston. That is gonna power all the piston once the stuff is down here. It doesn't matter which one because these five pistons will always push five locks. And I'm gonna go with this side. And I'd like to hide this completely, but I don't think it's possible. So we do it like this. Have a dust here. And that dust needs to power all the pistons. Ideally at the same time. But we can make that work. Mm. My inventory is full of junk. Um, so if a torch here, does it power two of them? Yes. But it doesn't power the bottom ones. So we're gonna have a conductor here. Is it a conductor? I don't know. Mm, I need another one. Oh, like this. Then we go two higher. the signal inverted. Mm, probably gonna do it like this. We'll go up with glowstone. So let me just grab some glowstone. Oh, this doesn't work. Bad I don't have my swift touch pick with me. Mm, we need to get one behind here. Mm, so let's put the dust there. And this should work. the clock. We will place redstone all along and redstone all along here. But I can't reach back there. Yes I can. Now this should work if we this. Yes, it does. So, yeah, um, got to check for creepers here. 
And is this amount of pistons is uh, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 pistons pushing at once. It's gonna create some black for a second there, but it mm, doesn't really matter because it happens at most every 30 wood. Mm, I guess I can live with that. I'd love to hide this glowstone though, uh, redstone. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, I guess I can't really. Oh yeah, I go to sleep. And then we will just try it out using cobble or so. Mm. Let's try it out from back there. This shovel is too good. I just destroyed two pistons there. Um, yeah, I need to tow up. The piston placement logic in this game, it's. I mean, how straight you have to look, it's just. it's odd. Oh well, yeah, let's get rid of these. And now we should be able to use these things. I have to fill up these two with sand though. Oh, let's just get some bone meal the first rise. Um, the thing that worries me a bit though is if two trees grow at the same time, more or less, because um, the smart piston, especially these ones, might not work if yeah, if it pushes from two sides at the same time. Oh, the whole tree is in here. But I guess we can tr stress test that. Bye. Planting one here. But even if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So even if it does break through sort of that, it doesn't really matter all that much to me. Because I plan on not bone mealing the trees and being AFK and the chance that two of them grow pretty much at the same time is pretty low. This system is missing a sand, it couldn't push off the last lock here. Which actually doesn't really matter, but yeah. Ouch. So yeah, seems to work. And uh, check on the length of the episode and then maybe we can do something else try to make this look good. <laughs> Clean up! Okay, it's uh, 23 minutes. 
or about 23 minutes, maybe a bit more. Um, so I guess we ain't gonna do anything else. So yeah, I'll keep on working on this, making it blend in with the mountain, because right now it yeah, looks ridiculous, especially from the back, because I've gone through the mountain there with the piston array, piston wall. Um, yeah, I say yeah a lot. So I work on this between episodes. Um, I actually need to do the tutorial for the things and put it up to YouTube. That's probably what I'm gonna do and I'll see you next episode and thanks for watching and stuff. Have a good time.